This international student is asking for advice on how he can date stereotypical blonde women in college. Let's try to answer his question. Hey guys, I'm an international student who moved to LA for college. I am better at attracting indie, alt, and international student girls, but I never get to attract those all American. But you know, those those typical basic girls in the sorority. Is it because they mainly go for Americans and whites? Is it because they like surfer and granola, you know, skater boys? I know they're normal girls, but they definitely have certain, certain type of guys they date. How do I be one of them? Dude. Uh, I don't know if this is a serious question or not, but I got a lot of responses. So we're going to add our two cents. And, uh, anyways, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the hot pop boys and check out small It is for pre-orders. Shout out, uh, to the YouTube family that is going to, uh, click on that link below. But David, I will say this. He has other posts. Why are most sorority girls boyfriends white? Why does all American blonde girl almost never end up with POC? Uh, let's just pop up some photos of the blonde sorority girls, I'm sure he's in referencing whether we're talking about UCLA, uh, USC, UC Santa Barbara, UC Irvine, maybe UC Irvine might be too Asian. Anyway, et cetera, et cetera. Here are the photos, Andrew. Here are examples of white guys in frats. What should he do? First of all, this is kind of a stupid question. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and say no. Like being an Asian international student is really not the type of guy that these typical all-American girls go for because typical all-American girls, they want to go for somebody who is considered cool in America or part of America. And as an international student, you are exactly not that, usually, unless you try Nine really out of hard. 10 times, possibly even more, probably 93 out of 100 times, statistically speaking. However, Andrew, I just pulled a photo from USC uh, from a fraternity called Pikes. Pikes is considered one of the frattiest of fratty uh, houses in America. That's their reputation. Here is a photo at USC. There's so many Asians who go to USC, Andrew. There's a couple Asians in Pikes with the blonde surfer dudes with the frosted tips. Yeah. Could, no. could he be one of these guys? Yeah, yeah, no, no. By the way, I just because you're an international student, that doesn't assume that like, oh, your English is heavily accented. I know like... It's kids. 2024 right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the bilingual schools overseas. Yeah, exactly. You have, there's there's people who are a lot cooler nowadays, but uh, I just think it's really goofy if he's running to the internet for help. But I would say, why would you want to date these girls? Ask yourself why first. Cause yeah, like, because that's like what I, you know, I see at the tailgate. I watch a National Lampoon college trip. Are that's you at the tailgate? Are you acting like a bro? Have you become Americanized? Why would you want to date these women? And uh, yeah. I think that his best bet immediately, if he's just upset, I, this is a crazy thing. If he's obsessed with blonde women, get a Ukrainian or an Eastern European girl who's blonde and then just put her in some Abercrombie. They're going to be like, more whatever. open. The Eastern <laughs> European girls, if you meet them, they're a little bit more open to Asian guys and they pretty much look white, okay, if that's the vibe you're going for. But uh, even if you don't got the riz like Remy Z here, you don't even got a chance. And even Remy Z is probably going to be dating more like the Asian girls in sororities or in Asian sororities. Do you think if he looks like Jackson Wang or Godfrey Gao, does he have a chance? Oh, my gosh, dude. This guy, I can already, I don't have a picture of him, but I can almost bet he doesn't look like one of them. All right. I just came up with a plan for him. First of all, the first thing he needs to do, Andrew, is immerse himself in Americana, middle America frat sorority content. Follow all the frat Instagrams, Andrew, Barstool Sports, baseball pages, hockey pages, lacrosse pages, anything that is considered white, even though these things are kind of becoming more like Japanese or Korean over time, a skating, surfing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I guess be into the things that Ken Malibu Ken is into, right? Yeah. Also, he should probably just talk to them first because how are you going to run to the internet for advice without even taking a shot yourself? If you don't even can't even muster up the courage to talk to them in class and be like, hey, you know, uh, I don't know if you've ever had hot pot, but I'd love to show you guys hot pot and just right. even see what they say. That would be interesting. Yo, that's pretty funny. Um... Country music. Also, uh, was it last night we let the liquor talk? Or yeah, was yeah, but I, I would say L.A., if I had to say, maybe the white people, they still maybe like country, but maybe less so. Maybe it's like Taylor Swift. Uh, if you, um, I don't know, you'd have to like just talk. Dude, I don't understand. Like, if like for guys to get a girl of a certain culture, right, that is not exactly there. You kind of have to become that person. That matches them. That's why he's able to go on dates with the alternative 
American women because they are already more open minded and edgy. They're and already alt. like fringe outlier types, yeah, right? They're, they're already not playing into the mainstream culture. Yeah, somebody did ask him, what's wrong with the alt indie weeaboo Korea boo streamer types, huh? What what do you want to try tuna casserole for so much? Why don't you get a girl who already wants to try hot pot and sushi and Korean barbecue? If you're not that person, attracting that person is going to be very tough. Right, you're saying if you're not Travis Kelsey, how are you going to get Taylor Swift? Um, people were saying that, yeah, I did notice that I'm always co uh, contacting a lot of like blue-haired or like geek or like theater girls as an Asian-American guy. Like you said, because they don't necessarily fit that all-American archetype. Somebody said, this guy should just wait out wait it out, and then go after the All-Americans post-college. Because in college, the sorority girls, they're matched up with the fraternity guys, so highly unlikely they're even going to reach outside of that system. Oh, you mean it's very clicky in college, yeah, especially in the fraternity scene. Yeah, I mean, I think that some people in college, they use this like microcosm, like micro world of what the campus is, they use it to their advantage, but depending on what you want to do, it could actually be a disadvantage because people are already paired up in clicks off the bat. Yeah, why don't match. you learn the guitar and go sing some English songs over in the quads and then Ooh. see if the, sing some whites, sing a Taylor Swift's cover. Can you play the, the, the guitar? If you can't, then I don't know what you can offer. Body like a back road. This ain't what, whatever. Um, somebody said, uh, just try and see what happens, but... You might just end up with a girl that reminds you of all America, Amer Americana girl, like an Asian girl. Yeah. yeah do, do you see that? Don't you see people recreate like other archetypes from like other worlds, but within the Asian bubble? Yeah. I'm not even saying it's impossible. I'm just saying like you got to get out there and start trying. It takes a while for these things to little match up and for the stars to align. Right. So, yeah. Because it's a low probability thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, somebody said, man, if you go out and approach all of them, you might get something. If you just become a bartender when you turn 21 or you work at like some sort of thing that they value, like oh, the like oh, work at that you start cooking bows at the bro, tailgate. Bro, okay. You <laughs> that, start crazy. cooking cha 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 shu at the tailgate barbecue and you give it away. That would be interesting. Or, or so how you're saying you would be automatically filtering for white girls at the tailgate. Or open-minded. Yeah, because a lot of them are not even going to want to come to your stand. Right. But the ones that want to come to your stand, maybe they were in a Mandarin immersion class yeah. in the Bay Area yeah. from a young age. That's yeah. a good pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or like some five spice chicken wings over at the tailgate. Or you go work at the local college bar. You got to volunteer there, be a busboy. So you get a lot of FaceTime and a lot of repetitions in and talk to or, people. What about the local Asian bar? But it's an Asian fusion bar that has a lot of, you know what I mean? Like sorority girls might go oh, to the yeah, Asian. Yeah. Not or the you, Asian, Asian spot. No, like yeah, yeah. I, I get it. You start working at the Asian restaurant or the Asian spots that cater towards white people, but you're just like, the, and you take the minimum wage job just so you can meet. Get in the, the system. Just so you can meet the non-Asians who like some version of Asian food. Right. Somebody said, why would you want to drive walkable distance, eat microwave pizza rolls, and learn how to shoot guns? Obviously, this was a joke about what we view as Americana. This guy also uh, interestingly said, what do you mean? Americana means something different to everybody. Are you talking about surfer skater girls in California? Nice Christian Midwestern chicks. Are you talking about Southern Bells? Are you talking about a ratchet Florida girl who dances to Kodak Black? What even is an all-American girl in 2024? That's an interesting question. Oh, they do love pizza on things, though, because TGIF sells those tater skins that with pizza on the top. So I just know that that is true. All Americana stuff is pizza-based things. Um, people were talking about the divorce, race, uh, the divorce rates because this guy said, hey, buddy, I'm a former Asian guy who loved blonde women. I would talk to thousands of them until I found one that would marry me. But then we got divorced just a few years later. And someone said, yeah, this guy clearly was going for the look instead of personalities match. Yeah, listen, uh, I don't under I get when people have different preference of looks, but to assume that you want to date an entire look of people is kind of stupid because people have different <laughs> personalities. Yeah, I, I know that there's certain like you're probably thinking Becky in tried Delta Gamma is probably like, hey, welcome to our 
mixer, whatever you. Hey, Yang Zhu, thanks for coming. <laughs> um, you know, me and the girls, we put together some Kool Aid and some uh, boba iced tea. Hopefully, you got you want to try it, you and your boys. This guy said that it all comes down to looks. You better have kind of Western features on your face, and you better be tall and super, super ripped and jacked. Yes, if you are a super tall Asian guy, like let's say just even six feet, and then you go after a white, L low body fat, ripped. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to be like super good looking, but if you're just tall and you got about six inches on the white girl that you're going after or more. So if you say you date a, a white girl who is like 5'4", then that gives you points as a man to her, but you got to be significantly taller than her. Right. Go after the short girl in Tridels. That's open-minded. Sure. That was in the Mandarin immersion class. That's my whole thing. Um, I'll say, just say this, man. Here's my takeaway, Andrew. Like you said, this is kind of like asking, hey, man, I just got to uh, USC. How can I play on the basketball team? You can't. You don't got a spot on the basketball team. I'm not saying it's super unlikely. I don't know if you came from a basketball academy in China. Maybe you do got a chance. But it's just unlikely. It's not impossible. It's improbable. And you'd have to do a lot of things to increase that probability. Yo, man. And you have to do a ton of stuff that you, you have to be willing to do those things to get that thing. And then of course, a lot of people are questioning, why do you even want that thing that much? That yeah. thing that doesn't want yeah, you why, back. Why do you value yeah, it so much? Dude, d d you know, I don't think it's like when we say it's hard to do it, it's not because I think blonde women are better people. No, I don't no, think no. they're not at all, but I just think they are more outside of the general. It's just more difficult. It's like, you know, it's funny because UCLA, that college actually has a fairly low admissions rate. Because a lot of people want to go there, right? Because a ton of people apply. Even more people apply to UCLA than a lot of Ivy League schools. Because just there's more spots at UCLA and more people want to go to UCLA, but they accept an even lower percentage of people. Because already the Ivy Leagues is already filtered out by people who only think they have a shot anyways. So it's kind of like, it's not necessarily that UCLA is a better school than the Ivy Leagues, but it is difficult to get into. That's what I mean. Right. So you're saying that getting with the blonde sorority girls, it's like getting into yeah, UCLA. Yeah, it's not necessarily a better life. It's not necessarily better people, but it is an American life. They are accepted in America. They, well, they are also, def would you agree, define America? They're the face of America. So that's why you better be a face, maybe not the face, but a face of America. So if you like tall athletic, good looking dude. Maybe you're international. Maybe you got an accent. That's okay. But you got to make up for it somehow because it's all like a, a point distribution. Right, right, right. I'll say this. You just got to have a higher social IQ for whatever you, whatever you want to achieve. This goes the same for uh, guys who are like computer programmers, Andrew, but they want ABGs, but they're really like into that hiking, like hot pot, like computer science look. And um, man, whatever you want in life, just come up with a plan execute on it but you just got to know there's different things in life with different probabilities and you really got to look within yourself and be like why am i valuing this thing this much and then maybe the guy's like yeah because i feel like if i got that i, I can feel american because I, that's what i came here for but it's like there's other ways to feel american too and uh yeah anyway guys let us know what you think in the comment section below what would be your advice for the op the original poster who wants to come here as an international student and date blonde women what are your own experiences let us know in the comment section below until next time we out peace, peace.